What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Zorro Sports. Welcome back to Workout Wednesday, and Happy New Year. Today's January 1st. Today's workout, we're going to be hitting a little bit of back and a little bit of legs. So our first exercise will be the pull-up. So cue the music, and let's jump right in. All right, so we're going to start off with our pull-ups. So we're going to go three to four sets, anywhere between six to 12. So again, if you're like a noob and a complete beginner, uh, let's go ahead and use the assisted pull-up machine. If not, let's try to go between six and 12 with your body weight. So our next exercise is going to be the back squat. We're going to go for three to four sets over here, anywhere between eight and 15 reps. Keep that core engaged, nice and tight. Bring that top of the chest down into the hip. Focus on a spot on the ground. Bring it straight down. So the squat looks like one of the easiest maneuvers, but it's actually one of the most complex ones. Um, I want to show you guys an exercise that's really going to help with bracing your core when getting underneath the ball. So this exercise that you can do to really help you brace your core is kind of like a dead bug exercise. And I was taught it by a great coach, so I want to share it with you guys. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to lay on the ground like a dead bug. So bring it over here on this side. So we're going to retract the scapula just like we would with a bench press. Keep those arms straight up. We want to keep the knees at a 90 degree. And now you see that I have space right there in the lower back. So if somebody was placing my hand, the hand right in that lower back area, I want to try to squeeze their head down and I want to hold that core right there for 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now the hard part is I want you to keep that scapula retracted and also push down to keep that core engaged. And that's basically the same exact thing we want to mimic when we're under the squat bar. So let's be careful out there. Let's train safe and let's move on to the next exercise. All right guys, so moving forward, our next exercise is going to be the leg press. And for this one, we're going to use this leg press machine here that converts into a hack squat as well. But in your gym, you're going to have many variations of the leg press. Anyone will do. We're going to go for three to four sets over here, eight to ten reps. Let's hit it. next exercise on this day two plan is going to be the stiff leg deadlift otherwise known as like a RDL Romanian deadlift so let's get to it it's very much a hip hinge so we're not reaching we want to hinge at the hip 
getting those hamstrings involved. So let's get to it. <laughs> guys so we're gonna finish up day two of this exercise program with the calf raise now for this one you can use any calf raise machine we're gonna get underneath the bar you can use a leg press or a designated calf raise machine we're gonna go for three to four sets anywhere between 30 to 20 reps let's hit it So if you do decide to go ahead and perform the calf raises underneath the bar, make sure you're bracing that core just like you will with any back squat. All right, guys, so that's it. That's the end of day two for this exercise program. Thank you for so much for working out with me. We're already crushing it this year. We're off to a great start. I can't wait to see you guys next week on Workout Wednesday. Peace.